elf look, but I wanted to go for a fairy look, so that's what we're going for. And, oh! One moment. These are my fairy wings because I don't have actual fairy wings. Hello, my whimsical bugs. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brooke. I am a fashion lover, a makeup lover, and a proud mother to a sophisticated cat named Snoop. Today, we are doing this whimsical fantasy fairy elf moment. Without further ado, let's get started. First, I'll be starting off with some primer. I am using the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer by Ciate. And also, I did not forget, go ahead and moisturize that damn face of yours. I know it is dry and crusty. Do not forget to moisturize your face. I just forgot to film it. And of course, don't forget to moisturize and prime the whole face, the neck, everywhere possible. Right now, I am diving into my Athena Paint Palette by You Can Be. I am taking the light pink, the dark pink, and the white paint. I am mixing that together on a clean palette to make a different pink shade. After you have perfectly mixed up your paint, we are going to apply that to our eyes as if it was an eyeshadow primer, except it's not, it's paint. Just to let you guys know, I'm going to be doing my face exactly the same as if I were using foundation and concealer, except we will be using paint. After you have globbed on your paint with your brush, go ahead and blend that out with a beauty blender so that it's nice and seamless. After your paint is blended out perfectly so that there is no cracks, creases, or streaks, we are going to jump into the Avani Greg X Morphe palette and we are just going to change the shape of our face completely. We're going to look like a totally different person, a totally different creature, and a totally different animal. I'm starting off by going where my brow starts and just creating a shadow towards my inner corner. I'm not exactly sure how to explain this process, but think of your face as a piece of paper and you're trying to draw a portrait. As you can see, we have a blank start of the pink paint and I'm just trying to create some depth with this dark shadow. And now I am just blending that out with a fluffy blending brush. So now I'm going back in again with the same dark pink shadow and I'm just shadowing my shadows. I'm making my shadows look even deeper, more realistic. I'm mostly focusing on the inner parts of my nose where the highest point is and the inner corner of my eye. Looks like this or just really blended out eyeshadow looks in general are very very tedious because you have to go back and forth between brushes. So now we are just going to blend that out with a fluffy blending brush. So right now I'm just taking my beauty blender that already has a little bit of paint on it and I'm just outlining the curvature of my eye with just a little more paint. Paint is very forgiving. I'm kind of just half-ass cut creasing my eye, but I don't actually have to go in and cut crease my eye. Now taking the same dark pink shadow, and we will be using this color a lot this video. Hope you enjoy it. And we will just be putting a little bit on our eyes. I'm honestly not doing much. I'm just putting a whole bunch on my outer corner and kind of making it a V shape on my inner part of my lid. But yeah, you see, I'm just messily putting it on. And you guessed it, blend that out with a fluffy blending brush. Now I'm going to add a pop of shimmer. This is the Ofra X Nikki Tutorials Highlighter in Glaze Donut. I love this highlighter. As you can see, it is so bright and so pigmented. Really pack that highlighter on. You want all the other fairies to see your bright, glimmering eyes from your little mushroom house. So pack it on. Really, bitch? Like... Now I'm gonna go ahead and start on my eyeliner. I am making my eyeliner extremely thick, long, and whimsical today. As you can see, I went all the way past my eyebrow. I want to do a lot more full face painted looks rather than using foundation. One, because as you can see, I messed up my eyeliner right there. But look, I'm fixing it just by taking some leftover paint from my beauty blender and smoothing it over. Perfect, literal perfect wings to me. 
finishing off my look by painting the rest of my face and do not forget to get your neck. I'm blending that out with my beauty blender so there are no cracks, creases, or streaks. Now taking a loose setting powder as if it were foundation or concealer, I am just setting underneath of my eyes with my powder sponge. I'm using my normal face powder which has a bit of a color to it, but as you can see I am extremely, extremely pale, so it doesn't really matter for me. But if you are not as pale as me and your powder is a little darker, go ahead and use a translucent powder because this step is crucial for highlighting the face. Now I'm taking a pink eyeshadow and I'm just setting the parts of my face that I don't want to be too highlighted with my loose powder. As you can see, I'm going back in with my loose powder and I'm just cutting my jawline, making my cheekbones just a little more snatched. Now going back in with the dark pink shadow that we were using way earlier, we are going to start by giving ourselves some plastic surgery. We are really going to reconstruct our facial features. We are just going to ignore what we have and accentuate what we wish we had. And that's being a fairy elf thing creature. Yeah, so now we are going to shorten our nose by putting a bit of the dark pink on the very tip of our nose. And I'm also going to put a bit right above my nostrils just to make it a little bit different of a shape. As you can see, it really changed the shape of my nose. And now going in with a fluffy blending brush and just blending out any harsh edges to make it look a little more natural. Now I'm going ahead and just giving myself some chiseled cheekbones. Just to make my nose look more like a little button, I added a line right above the bridge of my nose. Now I'm creating some shadows around my chin and jaw just to make my face a little more slim because I have a very round face. <laughs> Going back to the Avani Greg palette, I am taking the lime green on a blush brush and I am just giving myself some lime green blush. It looks more forest green on the pink skin, which is exactly what we want. And to blend that out, I took the brush that I was using for the dark pink and just smoothed that over. Right now, I am taking the dark pink on a pencil crease brush and I am creating shadows around my mouth to make my mouth look a little more pointy. Now putting some dark pink eyeshadow in the middle of my upper lip and up to my cupid's bow in a straight line, kind of like a T shape or how like you would draw a cat costume on Halloween, I guess? You know what I mean. And then blending that out with a fluffy blending brush, of course. Now going in and highlighting my cheeks, the very tip of my nose, doing a very, very fine line down at the bridge of my nose, and of course a little bit in my cupid's bow. And I lightly blended out this blinding highlight with my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I did my eyebrows off camera and I just filled them in with black and did them as normal. Now I'm finishing off the rest of my eyeliner by recreating a new inner corner or new tear duct. Now just trying on my little elf ear. I had no idea how this was going to work, but it literally just hangs on your ear like a little ear cuff. It's so cute. And now I'm just going ahead and painting it pink to match my skin, of course. Go ahead and apply some mascara. Oh my gosh, you guys are not gonna believe this. So I did kind of a big order on the Doll Eyes Volume Lashes website and look what they sent me. These cute little earrings. <laughs> These are actually gonna be perfect for today's look. We'll try to incorporate them. Ah, oh, they're so cute. The lashes I chose to use were the Ruby lashes by them. So great, so beautiful, so thick, so long. For my lips, I will be using the NYX Liquid Lip Lingerie XXL in the shade Busted. I'm taking the same lime green that we used earlier for blush, but I'm taking it on a Q-tip and I'm putting that in my waterline. Now, I'm going to take a bunch of random craft store crystal jewel things that I have found over the years, and I'm just going to start slapping them all over my cheeks, and we are done
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget while you're down there subscribing, there is a bell icon right next to the subscribe button. Go ahead and press that so you can get notified every time I post a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.